Hi everyone, Jess here at the World Aviation Festival and I'm joined by Eddie Wilson, CEO of Ryanair DAC. Good afternoon Jess, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank Good. you. Good. Thank you for joining us. So Eddie, is Ryanair where it needs to be to achieve net zero by 2050 targets? I think so, um, but you know, it's um, what we've done, I think, in terms of investing in uh, new aircraft that are more fuel efficient, have less, fuel, have less noise emissions and carry more passengers. <clears throat> but I think what we need to see is that uh, governments at a centralised level here in, in Europe um, really getting behind uh, SAF mandates, finding a way of um, encouraging energy companies to invest in that having common policies on the feedstock that goes into sustainable aviation fuel. Because it's all fine for companies to say they're going to achieve these things if it's not being produced at an affordable price so that we can support our economy. So I think airlines are really playing their part, but we need to move much more quickly. Okay, fantastic. So it's about making those options affordable and having enough um, supply as well as yeah I mean well you need it affordable to sustain the industry and our economies need the industry it's not all about people going on their holidays there's connectivity uh, for businesses for people visiting friends and relatives kids going to college second properties all that stuff we have you know aviation is an integral part of economic life with the environmental agenda we've got to have an approach that rewards airlines at airport that are more fuel efficient. So instead of having one set of charges, have cheaper charges for those airlines that actually invest in newer, cleaner technology, we're using sustainable aviation fuel. So rather than governments just putting taxes on blindly, like they're doing something, they need to incentivize energy companies, uh, companies that are investing in new propulsion systems, and we need that coordinated approach because we need aviation. What role would technology play in reaching these targets? I think some people are doing a lot of blue skies thinking, which isn't a bad thing, um, except that our industry is highly regulated. So when you've got people flying at 36,000 feet, if you've got a new engine, it's got to work. Um, you don't get a second chance at that. And while there are lots of um, while there are lots of initiatives on hydrogen and um, issues like that, it needs major, major money and major, major rewards for engine manufacturers to take that leap forward uh, to invest rather than just talking about it. And I, I would lay that at the, at the door of governments who need to incentivize that behavior, not just on fuel, but on engine propulsion systems as well. Great. So we yeah we have been hearing a lot about hydrogen and the future of that. But you think I think you know we've invested 22 billion dollars in new aircraft that are really doing something, which is 16 percent less fuel burn, 40 percent less noise emissions, more seats, all that. But to get sustainable aviation fuel, that's something that can be accelerated. On the engine systems, it's a slow process unless you point the big guns at it in terms of saying we've got to do something by a certain date. Otherwise, this will drag out and that's unfortunate. But I mean, like I don't know enough about those particular systems to, except to say in our industry, if you make changes, it takes a long time to get certified. And if we're going to, if we're going to accelerate that, we're going to have to do it in an entirely different way. What are the most exciting developments we can look forward to within the industry in the next few years? Well, I mean, we've already talked about sustainable aviation fuel. Uh, I think that's the key. If we can get the feedstock right as to where that's coming from so that we're not using feedstock that could be used for either feeding, either for, you know, for animals or uh, it's a, a raw material for um, uh, food production, we've got to get that right um, so that we are putting the right things into sustainable aviation fuel and not having some unintended consequences somewhere else. I think aircraft are getting quieter. I think that's great for people who live near airports. Um, I think that, you know, point to point travel is where it's at. Um, we need to get away from hubbing and spoking, which are inherently um, against the environment. And we, uh, we need to have all airlines taxed at the same level, like long haul um, need to be taxed as well. This idea that long haul, which represents 6% of the capacity, but account for 50% of the emissions. 
um, they need to be brought into the net on that as well. How do you think large industry gatherings like the World Aviation Festival benefit the industry as a whole? I think that people get to see one another, they get to see new innovations. Um, you know, the human race always existed on people coming together and deciding to do something and, you know, most ideas come from incremental thinking as well. And I think when you bring people together like this and give them a couple of drinks, they come up with the best ideas you could ever have. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you.